Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with AWS services. Our viewer is trying to send S3 event logs to their server outside of AWS using a Lambda function written in Java. The question at hand is about a Lambda function that times out without any error when attempting to send S3 event notifications to an external server. The viewer suspects that the issue may lie with the HTTP client configuration. Let's dive deeper into this problem and see how we can help. Welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the issue you're facing with your AWS Lambda function. The function is timing out without sending the S3 event to your external server. First, check your Lambda function's VPC configuration. If your Lambda is in a VPC without proper internet access, it won't be able to reach your external server. Next, let's look at the code. You are using HTTP client to send a post request. Make sure the URL is correct and reachable from your Lambda environment. Additionally, consider increasing the timeout setting for your Lambda function. The default timeout is three seconds, which may not be enough for your request. Finally, add error handling to your code to log any exceptions that occur during the HTTP request. This will help you diagnose issues more effectively. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Your Lambda function seems to be set up correctly, but it cannot trigger events for downloading objects from S3. You can trigger events for actions like putting, deleting, and copying objects. Here are the applicable events. To test your Lambda function, use the Lambda console to pass a test S3 put event. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. First, remember that AWS Lambda functions can run for up to five minutes. Start by replacing your Lambda code with a simple log statement to ensure logging is functioning correctly. Once logging is confirmed, modify your Lambda code to replace any print stack traces with logging calls. Add a logging statement at the beginning and trigger the Lambda again. Next, set appropriate timeouts for your Apache HTTP client to ensure your HTTP calls do not exceed the five minute limit. Check the official documentation for guidance. If you encounter network errors like socket timeout exception, verify your Lambda configuration for internet access. And that's it, guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. 
If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.